up what nerdigans this is the one and only packer girl 89 and today's anime nerdigan review is going to be for centaur no nayami aka centaur worries uh season one episode three titled where the do the little ones get so much vitality and this episode was really really good there was some skip parts that i didn't understand why um they were skipped but i will get to that in a second so um, I'm so, first of all, I gotta apologize for this video being late. This life got the best of me. I'm dealing with a bum foot. I have to go to urgent care today to go see what's wrong with it, but uh, at least I'm getting the video done now. Anyway, so the first part of this episode starts at um, chapter 5, and we get to see um, Hime and Shiho, aka her little cousin, and oh my god, it was so freaking cute. But there were some parts that were skipped there. like. Um, for example, uh, a part that I wish was a adapted, because I would have really loved to see what the anime did with it, could do with it, is uh, the story that he may tells uh, Shiho, which is this. Um, once upon a time, there was a kingdom. It was a small kingdom made up of um, about 1,000 people, most of whom were farmers. While the king had no democracy, it was still a peaceful kingdom. But one day, an evil wizard appeared. He, ki he kidnapped the princess and did a lot of bad things that were against the law. So the people of the kingdom came together and elected a hero to face off um, against the wizard. The people's hero was a man who ran his own cake shop. He used, uh, he used sweet smells to um, tame lions, goats, and owls. The hero used all his strength and wits to bring down the evil wizard. Then he ran to the princess who had been put into a magical sleep. Um, the rest of the story was there, but this part, uh, but yeah this part of the story wasn't. And I'm really disappointed that, because I really wanted to see what the anime could do with the story. Um, instead what they did was in the first part of the second um, portion of the episode, they showed like this TV episode instead of like this magical girl thing. And I was just like, huh? Why are you showing that? Like, I wanted to see the story, you know, animated. It would have been really nice to see. Uh, let's see. Um, Oh, and then when we get to meet see Tama and her, oh my god, I gotta talk about the Chi sisters. The Chi triplets are fucking adorable as hell. I wanna like squeeze them, they're so cute. Um, let's see. This part was uh, was skipped here when um, Tama says, uh, I don't think I've met her, is she your sister? And Hime says, uh, she's um, my cousin. Um, and then, you know, when, um, and something that was really interesting about this chapter slash this portion of the episode was we met the lesbians of, uh, the, um, of the group. We ran into them because they were talking about kissing and stuff. And, um, and one of, <laughs> and she's trying to like explain it to them. And it's just so interesting. It's getting all the little ones really confused. But, um, uh, this part was, uh, Gift. Uh, you're a different species and Tama says um, she's, she said this is Tama and Tama says my mom and dad are different species that's why yes that's kind of important here uh, but a kiss isn't embarrassing in Russia everyone kisses each other when when they say hello this isn't Russia and he was like and this is all skipped and he was like how do I explain this to her um, uh, you kiss your uh, mom and dad right um, uh, and, oh, like, afterwards, like, afterwards, like, after the, all this, they started running around, and, um, Tama, like, catches her sisters, and, like, she's holding one of them by her feet, <laughs> and her sister's, like, and her, uh, one of the chi, the chi-chans are just, like, um, Nichan, feet are bad manners, and Tama says, uh, why didn't, and, you know, she asks, why did you run away? Because you're mad. And, um, on the way back from uh, their little time at the park, Hime was supposed to sit, they, think anyway it'd be too expensive to buy a towel at the convenience store she might draw off in the sun though um and of course he may mentioning to her mom and her aunt that you know there was a fountain at the park but um the thing that i noticed was done in this episode anime wise there was some censor censorship going on there really was because like near the end of the chapter when uh shiho and um and uh he may you know are drying themselves off um they're supposed to be, you know, he may still supposed to be uh, half naked, but um, uh, the, this uh, the part I'm talking about is uh, when uh, Shiho says, um, "He, he may need. Do you have milk?" 
um, that's when, you know, he may still supposed to be topless still, but not in the anime. The anime censored that. That was some censorship for real. Uh, let's see. But, um, like, this is what I mean. Like, they're trying to explain, and I, I really like this chapter for a couple of, and this part of the episode for a couple of reasons. It's like, it's kind of like what's going on right now with uh, the media pushing, you know, sexuality on the, to young kids because uh, Shiho and uh, Thomas' sisters are all like five and they're trying to explain this to them. And like, Shiho says it perfectly right here. Uh, Those girls who kissed each other were saying a lot of hard things. I didn't understand a thing they were saying. Um, and I, I was just like, that's just so perfect. <laughs> Oh man, um, uh, but yeah, I really loved seeing the Shiho Chan stuff, uh, and I'm really happy that we got to see it. And then we get to the next portion of the episode, which is chapter 12, and um, like the as much as as cool as it was to see that TV show that uh, that wasn't even really shown in the manga, I wish it would have gone towards the story that Hime was telling Shiro, because. Shiho, because that would have been way cooler, and it was just a missed opportunity. But um, this this chapter in particular, with when uh, the um, the Chi triplets, Chi Chan triplets, are uh, watching the house with their little sister, um, uh, and but Su Chan, Su Chan is just so freaking precious. I have to say that right now. Like the animation is just freaking great uh, for this. Oh, and like, and. I just thought it was cute when, uh, you know, one of them is asking, anyways, why isn't daddy here? Daddy's at work. And they're like, I thought daddy was working on, and this was all here. I'm just saying it. I thought, um, daddy was working on painting pictures, but he hasn't gotten anything done. He just leaves, uh, the house. This part was skipped though. You know, you're not supposed to go into dad's office. And what Thomas says, and I really love what she says, is painting pictures is the work of the heart. The work that makes us money is his real job. And they're, then they're just like, we don't understand what that means. <laughs> and Thomas says, the rest of society doesn't understand that either, but that's the way it is. Like, that's just so, like, that's why I like this manga so much. And, you know, and, and the anime too, because they did most of the stuff here, is that, um, adapted most of the stuff from the manga is because you could just totally relate to it to what's going on right now you don't you don't need fantasy creatures to do that um uh let's see and like and it's really cute like i, I gotta keep reading i'm gonna read the manga dialogue here but it wasn't the anime but it's just like this part is this is so cute um and if we need money we should just take it from the box um that money belongs to god um and um, it's the weekend. Grown-ups uh, should play with the kids with kids on the weekends. I know, and I want to play with you, but I have work to do today. Um, and even the chi and the chi chans e chi chans even say here. And anyways, chi chan is only in kindergarten. You shouldn't put the little kids in charge of the house. Like even they know that. But yeah, they were able to call all their friends and stuff, which was really really cool. Um, let's see. Uh... And, she, and Thomas says, how many are you going to call? Uh, that was uh, skipped. Um, oh, here we go. This part was skipped. Um, when after Tom I ran into um, Hime, uh, Hime uh, what club is she in anyways? Biology club? We don't have that kind of club. Ah, uh, that's not what I should be thinking about right now. Um, oh, and when all the kids came and played, they were so cute. But yeah, poor Su Chan. Like, it's just, I don't know why Su Chan is this way where she's, she's just really weak. She can't like run around for a long period of time without getting sick. It's really sad. Um, let's see, where is it? Um, um, here we go. Oh, I want to mention something that Thomas said here, and this was in, um, in the anime, but I really like this part here because it, you know, this, this manga is big on family, which was this when Thomas said, my grandfather was big on some religion and was an extremely stubborn man who never cared about his family. But on his deathbed, he called my mother's name and said this to me, let's go home. Since then, I've always put my family first. Yeah, I really like that part. Um, this part was, uh, skipped. Um, 
It's useless. There's no way I can understand her. I need 30 more years of life experience. Should we get Kojima? Uh, he's old enough, but he doesn't have enough experience. Gee, she's only a freshman. She doesn't have the right to speak to us like that. You were just like that. You were just like her when um, you were a freshman. Um, let's see. Uh, but come on, you can't go home. Um, you can't go uh, running home early to your kids every day. Her sisters aren't going to be kids forever, though. Um, Mitama... Uh, Sans, um, uh, says, Mitama-san uh, says she wants to be a politician in the future. I think she could definitely pull that off. I had the best grades in my, uh, in my class in middle school, but now that I'm in high school, my grades are so-so. I hear Thomas chan second in her grade. Well, our school may be the best prep school in the district, but it doesn't come close to comparing to some of the um, other schools in the country. What are you trying to say? Nothing, really. But, um, oh, when we, the ghost, you know, the little spirit of the, uh, the ghost that get, that's here i thought that i thought the ghost was done so well and i love what they did at the end of the episode which i'll get to in a second um this part was skipped uh if i don't make enough for them then it won't be a real dinner i'm sure mom would be upset with that um let's see where is it um one two three definitely don't have enough uh let's skip i'll just eat what's left over um uh where was it? Um, uh, the uh, Zashiki Warashi. The Zashiki Warashi, like, w w which is what we saw at the end of the episode, was really cool. I like that little added touch that they did with it. I thought that was nice. But overall, like, this episode, and I gotta say this series, is really, really good. Um, the, and I got a feeling next week, I thought it was gonna be this week that we were gonna see the um, Antarcticans, but I think it's going to be this ne next episode we're going to see the Antarcticans. I'm, I'm hoping we get to see the Antarcticans, because I, I already have an idea in my head of um, how they're going to do it, because uh, they're going to have, like, two chapters, obviously. Um, one of them's going to be, you know, of course, starting, uh, I think it's, like, chapter f six or something like that, where um, they have, uh, it starts with Hime watching the uh, horror movie about the Antarctican that's about to eat the Senator. I think that's uh, where we're going to start next week. That's my gut feeling, but I really hope so because I can't wait to see the Antarcticans. I really can't wait. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, what did you think of this episode? What do you think of the, like, the deeper meaning behind it? I, like, I really, really love it. I love this this manga. Like, there's more to there's more to it than you know on this than what we re or read or watch in the in this particular manga and anime. There's always there's like a deeper meaning and you could relate to it. That's why I really like this one. Anyway, anyway, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to the Nerdigans Inc. expansion, there's a few ways you can do that. You can donate to the Nerdigans Inc. PayPal, Patreon, or purchase something off the Nerdigans Inc. Amazon wish list. All those links are in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on the Twits, aka Twitter. Follow my Twitch channel from me on PlayStation Network. All that's in the description box below as well. And until next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye!